Assalamu alaikum. Hello, how are you doing, guys? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the progress bar in HTML or using HTML and CSS and JavaScript. As you see, I have here on my screen nothing, just a folder that I already cr created uh, named progress. Inside of it, I'm going to go with index.html. And also for CSS, I'll go for style, JavaScript, like this. Now inside the index, I'm going just to do this. And automatically it's going to give me this boilerplate. I'm going to change the title to progress bar. Call in the, the style sheet. And also here, I'll call the script. Up to now, I'll go to view, a command plate, and open with the live server. If you use individual studio code as me, I'm going to split the screen into two parts, like this. Now, I'm going to start creating my content or my structure inside of the body. First of all, I'll go with the diff. Inside the div, the first div, I'll give it a class of progress container, progress container, and then inside of this div, I'll create another div, and it's going to contain the the progress bar, exactly like this, and I'll give it to an ID. I'll name it, for instance, bar. Then inside of here, after the next, after the progress container, I'll create another div for the content. I'll go with a P. I'll go with some lorems. I'll copy it multiple times on the screen. As you see here on the display screen I have the text's adder and now I could scroll top and down let me inside the content close this and leave it like this now I'll jump to the style and I'm going to copy this class names progress container but first of all let me go with the body I'll give it a margin 0 and also padding 0 to get it off the default margin and padding. And also for the found family, I'll go with Arial. Or you could change it to anything you want. Then the progress container, I'll give it a width of 100 pixels or before that let me make the position of it uh, to fixed so not hide when we scroll and then I'll go I'll give it a top to zero to be at the top of the page then I'll give it for instance a background color just to know where it is for instance I'll go with this color after that, I'll give it a height and width. So the width, I'll give it to 100%. And the height, I'll go for instance with 8 pixels or 10 pixels. As you see here at the top, has been added to it. Then I'll jump to the index and see I have here the class of progress bar. I'll copy this progress bar. Back to styling. Progress bar. Instead of the progress bar, I'll give it a height, for instance, of 5 pixels. Just to show you what it's going to be. And then I'll give it a background color of red. And also. I'll give it a height, already given it height. As you see here on the screen, has been added this progress bar to it. 
and the width in this case I want to be not 100 but I want to be 0 so do not display until we scroll and that's what we're going to do it in JavaScript but first of all let's just leave it to 100 and under that I'll go with the content dot I'll give it a background color of some color like this color and width of 80% for instance and margin I'll give it top to 5% left to right auto and bottom to 2% like this better and also I'll give it some padding if I want to decorate that so I'll give it I'll go with 16 pixels padding now it's better after that or after doing all of this I'm going to jump now to JavaScript to, to create the function that is going to control the revealing or when we scroll the progress bar is going to work but first of all let me jump here to progress bar and change the width of it to zero and we're going to edit it to 100 in JavaScript alright inside of here I'm going to create a function when we scroll we're going to create uh, we're going to create this function so when the user when the user scrolls the page execute the function this is the function that we go in so window dot on scroll equal to function and then open this and name the function I'll name it scroll after that we're going to R r type this function here or write it so I'll go with function the name of the function scroll then here we're going to start writing our codes first of all we need to define some variables the first variable it is the window scroll and we're going to get the scroll top of the of this body of everything inside of here and also we're going to get the element of the scrolling like this document here or this text so I'll go with window scroll window equal to document dot body dot scroll top and also we're going to do this or document dot document element dot scroll top to after that we're going to create another variable and this variable is going to bring us the the height or the scroll height or you gotta do just give it a value and it is scroll height scroll I go with document dot document element document element dot scroll top or scroll height I'm sorry scroll height and also we're going to get another var and it is the client height so client after that we're going to calculate the height and it is just scroll height subtract out of it the client height so the scroll height is basically means the everything the height of the page and the client height it is the the user when he scrolls then that client height is going to to, to be created so when the user reach the half of the screen the client height is going to be equal to the half of that screen so that's what we need to do is to catch 
the entire scroll or the entire height of the body and then subtract out of it the client or the user when his when his scrolls or in general when these scrolls all right here scroll height minus client height like this after that we're going to calculate the scroll so when we scrolled we need to do something with the with the progress so var name is scrolled scroll and to calculate this I'll go with window height the entire window scroll I'm sorry the entire window at the first here the first var variable and then we're going to the divider on the height on the height of the this after that we're going to multiply it by 100 to fit the width up to now I think that we are, we are done with writing the codes now all what we need to do is just to cut this element here the progress bar and change its width to 100 to do that I'll go here with document dot get element by ID and the ID that I give it a bar at the end here I'll go with style dot width I'll leave it equal to scrolled and I'll add to it 100 uh, the percentage to be 100% or whatever the scroll equal now if I scrolled as you see now on the output on the right when I scroll the red line it's changing from the the left to the right gradually when I reach the end of the screen or at the end of the page the red line reaches to the the to the final point at the at the right and also when I scroll top it's working down on top and you could now change it and add some uh, decoration to it by instead of doing five percent of the height you could do 10 or instead of the progress container be at the top you could change it at the at the bottom by just changing the bottom to zero like this and the same thing for scrolling uh, for this progress bar if you want to change it to the left or the right what are you going to do just make this to the left and also you have to know to change the width instead of the width you have to play at that time with the height instead of the width up to now I think everything is okay and you could just play around with this and do whatever you want with it from colors and you could change for instance this line instead of line to dots or anything that you want or a uh, different color or a gradient uh, different colors here instead of just one color you could do multiple colors and we scroll the colors is going to be changing all of that is up to you uh, in this video I'll just focus on how to do this uh, up to now I think everything is okay for more tutorials that just go to my website uh, in HTML, JavaScript and CSS, there is a part there uh, in courses section. You just click on it, it's going to uh, find all of the videos that I already made. And up to now, thanks for watching and stay tuned.